We've got this storm covered from all angles for you tonight. Our Jennifer Dowling standing by with tips for homeowners to prepare for this fall storm. And leading our team coverage, Natasha Stenbach with the forecast. Calm right now, but you say that's only temporary? It is very temporary. In fact, by the time we roll into the next 24 hours, a whole lot is going to be changing for us. Right now, what we're dealing with is we're waiting for the next cold front to show up. That one's going to be weak, and it's going to be a pretty quick mover. In the meantime, we're seeing a little bit of a low in the activity. We're dry across Portland all the way down to Salem, but a few more showers now popping up over the coast range. Right now your temperature in Portland is 53. We're going to stick with that number overnight tonight with those showers picking up again in those early morning hours before the sun rises. Now tomorrow your daytime highs is only getting up to about 56 with a few more showers in the mix and then everything changes dramatically. As soon as we get to early Sunday morning, details on your watches and warnings out there coming up in just a few minutes. Natasha, thanks. And lots of people now getting their homes and businesses ready for this next storm system that Natasha is telling us about. And local roof cleaning businesses are so busy right now. One owner tells us the phone's just been ringing off the hook. Jennifer Dowling is watching out for you tonight with recommendations on what you can do now to make sure your home is prepared for this. Jennifer. Good evening. Well, first you have to take a look at the culprits. This is what's clogging up your gutters. These beautiful but soggy leaves that have been falling in droves all week. Well, they are the problem. And if you don't clear them out of your gutters, that water can pool and it ca can cause damage to the siding and the foundations of your home. We're currently getting an like extreme amount of gutter cleaning calls right now. Mark Michael check is working well past sunset, preparing Portlanders for a wet weekend ahead. We do gutter cleaning, roof cleaning and treating, pressure washing. At his business, expert property maintenance, calls for gutter cleaning have skyrocketed. Over the last two days, we probably got 50% more lead flow for gutter cleaning than um, you know any other task that we provide. So it's really awesome. I can really definitely tell that people are caring about the storm that's coming in. He says when the water can't flow properly, the end result can be expensive. Once that rainfall starts overflowing with the gutters and starts overflowing, it can really cause damage to your siding, to you know your the foundation of the home. With more leaves likely to come down with the rain and wind, the Oregon Department of Transportation will be on the lookout for clogged storm drains too. We're trying to clear storm drains in certain areas. We're trying to make sure that we can get any standing water off the road as quickly as we can. So that involves a lot of cleaning the leaves out. People can help uh, with that in their neighborhood too. Spokesperson Don Hamilton says landslides are also a concern, especially in areas burned by wildfire. These areas haven't really recovered, and those areas are going to be more susceptible to slide. In southeast Portland, Mark feels good about bringing customers peace of mind. We're blessed, you know. His tip to homeowners who aren't hiring a professional, grab a ladder. Just, you know, take your hand and just kind of scoop out just the air of the downspout. So at least that rainfall, you know, that water can just go down to the downspout. So you can do that yourself, or if you'd rather have someone else do it, we'll put a, a link to all of Mark's information in this story on our website at coin.com. Reporting live in Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.